Hi and welcome back. Today in our tutorial we'll be learning how can we set up virtual machines using VirtualBox. Now VirtualBox is a free software from Oracle. You can install it on your system and it really helps you in setting up virtual machines without affecting your base operating system. So regardless if you're using Windows, Mac operating system or any other operating system, you can download different versions of VirtualBox and you can use it in order to install operating systems on your computer. Now before you'll start installation of VirtualBox, just make sure that your laptop or desktop computer supports virtualization. If it's uh, a latest laptop or a desktop computer, you don't have to worry about it. But if you are using an older version of a laptop or a desktop computer, you'll have to go to the BIOS of computers and enable virtualization over there. So in order to start installation of uh, uh, VirtualBox, we'll be installing Ubuntu operating system, which is a Linux operating system. So we'll go to virtualbox.org. You'll click on download over here. It would take you to this page and then you can select the operating system, whatever you're using. Since I'm using Windows, I have downloaded that file and it's highly recommended that if you are using it on Windows, Try to use the extension pack as well, which is required because it would give you lots of additional features uh, like installing the graphics drivers and rest of the other things. So these are the two things that you'll be downloading from here. The other thing is that you'll go to Ubuntu website. On there, you'll click on download Ubuntu. You'll get the download link up here. Click on this one. I'm installing this later version of Ubuntu 25.04. Click download. It would take some time. And once you'll have the ISO file of Ubuntu, we can start the installation of it. So as you can see that I have installed uh, um, VirtualBox on my system and I tried testing Kali on my system. Uh, already uh, the version of VirtualBox has, has been updated on this one as you can see. So this is the basic interface of it. You can click on home so you'll see this interface of it. Now if you want to start the installation of a virtual machine you'll always click on new. Um, here I'll type in Ubuntu or uh, I'll type in Ubuntu operating system and then it's highly recommended that you select a virtual machine um, path for example if you have your operating system in your c drive it's highly recommended to install virtual machine in any other drive other than the c drive because c drive is already running your base operating system and installation of uh, another virtual machine should not affect the performance of your base operating system so i have a folder over here called uh, uh, virtual box and uh, if you want to select a folder in this one just like i have created a folder up here you can uh, click on it and select it and after that you can select the ISO file that you have downloaded as well. Okay, so once that's selected, you'll have to be a little bit careful and go slow with me because if you'll not make the right choices, there is a known issue with VirtualBox. You'll end up having issues in installing the virtual operating system. So since I have selected the path of it and then I have selected the ISO file, then Please make sure that you are unchecking this proceed with unattended installation otherwise you'll end up having lots of issues. Once that's done um, you cannot make any changes because it's an unattended it's not an unattended installation I have disabled that option. If you want you can select this uh, option uh, if you are using an attended uh, unattended installation I'm not doing it so it's not letting me select this one and then go to the hardware and I would highly recommend to give round about 8 gigs of RAM and give 4 CPUs to your virtual machine. I'm going for the uh, higher end configurations for this one because I have 32 gigs of RAM. You can select the RAM based on your system uh, configurations. I have enough RAM available so that's why I'm allocating 8 gigs. Now keep an eye on this thing that this green area is the amount of RAM that you can allocate for your virtual machine. This red area is dedicated for your host operating system. Likewise it depends how many CPUs you have. I have 32 CPUs so I'm giving 4 CPUs to my virtual machine if you have less cpus over here you can select it according to your system's configuration after that select the virtual machine um, i would highly recommend keeping 25 to 30 gigs of uh, uh, storage space on your virtual machine um, 
better to decide a higher end on this one also because later expanding the hard drive and changing the partition size would be a little bit difficult for you guys now once i'll press finish it would start the installation of this one um, you can still go and make the modifications to the configuration of your virtual machine over here if everything's okay all you need to do is start the operating system now after that i'll just mute the installation process you can follow along as i'm doing it and uh, it would be a smooth installation of ubuntu operating system and after that we'll see that how it would look like so just press next and we'll continue As you can see, we have successfully installed Ubuntu operating system virtually on our Windows 11. Now, um, after installation, it might ask you to update it. It's entirely up to you if you want to update on it uh, or not. Like if you click on the start button of it, you'll see different options and the applications which are installed on it. And if you want to check certain commands on your Linux and stuff, you can go to the uh, shell of it on the terminal and uh, uh, run the things on it. So that's it for today. I hope you understood how can we install uh, Ubuntu on VirtualBox with having the base operating system as Windows 11. That's it for today. Thank you very much.